this time it's even more personal than the last time. Welcome to I Hope You Suffer. <laughs> wow. Also, just when you thought it was safe to go into the sea again. Um, jokes on them, because I never thought it was safe. Yeah, the sea is a fucking hellscape. Don't go in it. Yeah. Absolute Literally. nightmare. Did you see that stingray? Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a stingray in real life, so I'm good. Like it They, they caught a 661-pound one. Uh, there was one, like... One of the times, I think it was for like a family reunion where we went back to, we went to Pismo Beach in California and on like one of the docks, it's just fucking like VW bug size, like stingray just went swimming under it. And I was like, I'm nope. good. Pass. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back as far into the land as I can. It, if it can kill Steve <laughs> Irwin, what chance do I have? Oh, I, yeah. Honestly. episode 211 of I Have Suffer. My name is Hulk Hogan, ripoff guy. <laughs> I'm Ja Cruel. <laughs> it's my shark rap name. I'm in. Um, I am... <laughs> what, what I... So... The, there's dolphins in this, and one of them's name, the subtitle says Cookie, <laughs> uh, but they pronounce it Kooky, so I'm not really sure. I'm whatever that dolphin is. Kooky Cookie. Kooky Cookie. Uh, this week, we watched 1995's Cruel Jaws, a.k.a. Jaws 5, <laughs> by Absolute King Bruno Matai. <laughs> it's just fucking like makes the, the absolute coolest looking movie posters for just the absolute <laughs> trashiest movies. My favorite is the one that's just like they lifted the shark from Jaws, like the Jaws poster, and just put it like on an orange sunset. And then oh, it just yeah, says there's like a Jaws. It's just like, it, what? <laughs> there's like a huge fucking like world or like you know one of those like vietnam war movie explosions behind it and like yeah. the poster on yeah. box like yeah oh, fucking king i i legitimately like a lot of bruno's matai's movies but like they're all like almost all of them like his entire career was just like cashing in on like what was big somewhere else like or just flat Smart. out being like this movie's terminator 2 and everyone <laughs> it's like uh i don't think you could do that but all right <laughs> i love italy it's fucking wild it's west fucking cool. when it comes to copyright <laughs> the 70s and yeah, 80s fuck it, whatever. Italy just seem just like the coolest place to ever make movies because you could just flat out be like no this movie's aliens we're making yeah this is the sequel to alien and it's just like well this movie's about fucking eggs it's like and, and i don't know it's weird uh I'm but going yeah. to italy and making pulp fiction too you probably could they can't stop me (laughs) (laughs) uh yeah so cruel jaws banger this is one of one of like if not my favorite shark movie like it's not like obviously like jaws best shark movie ever made but like as far as it comes to just like oh just insane ridiculous jaws rip off like this one, this one fucking slaps. It's so ridiculous and just bonkers and makes no sense. And all of the shark footage doesn't match anything. It just it's supposed up. to be a tiger shark, even though like it's clearly a great white and everything. Yeah. yeah, there's like one shot I think of a tiger shark, and everything else is a great white. Like the the one there's... shark shark. <laughs> <laughs> The one shot that's actually of a tiger shark is just, like, in a presentation. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, uh... Um, it's it's really fun when you watch a lot of, like, especially the Italian shark movies. Or even, even, like, going as far into some of, like, the... 
the less known maybe like cannibal movies where that like so much of the footage is just obviously like shit they stole from like National Geographic. Yeah. <laughs> um we'll obviously get into it, but my favorite fucking thing in this entire movie is I forget what Jaws movie it is, but they just straight up use like all of the footage of like the shark pulling down a fucking helicopter. Yep. I feel like it's maybe what Jaws two, I think. I don't know, I don't remember. There's like, like, but that's all just straight up lifted from a movie. He just fucking steals Star Wars fucking yeah. music. Oh like my god, I was scene. like, I was like, is this, why is Star Wars happening? It rocks, it I was, love it so it much. It was a fever dream. <laughs> the thing about this, I did not like this movie. I was like, <laughs> the thing I put on Instagram, I was going to be like, I can't wait to hear how much Katie hated this. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the thing that I will say is that, like, even though I have not seen all the other Jaws movies, I've seen, like, the original one. You've seen Revenge, at like, least. We oh, did, yeah. Yeah, we did that on the podcast with we Michael Caine. We did, Kane. yeah. But, Perfect like, film. I, I, I could it's my second favorite tell, Jaws movie. I could still tell when, like, what was part of what they shot or whatever, and then, like, what was not like what was stolen because there was a lot of scenes where like they would splice them together and there's one point in the movie where they spliced together different scenes but they didn't take the music off of some of it so there's like three different scores playing <laughs> as they're like amazing back and forth between like what's happening and i was like i did i take speed like what's happening right now it just was it's perfect. It's very, it's, it's very baffling. There's a reason this movie is kind of like renowned or like um, like infamous amongst, you know, like kind of, I don't want to say real horror fans, but, you know, people that like dig into like the like the more obscure yeah. shit. Like it was infamous until like for a long time until Severin finally like put it out on like a widely uh, distributed uh like a blu-ray and dvd and stuff uh, i'm so mad it's out of print i went to buy it after watching it I, it's like oh yeah i can't find it anywhere it's like 50 dollars on ebay Fuck. yeah i blind bought it um and i i fucking i regret not they, they did a novelization too with it that like i regret <laughs> not buying but i bought it and then like just blind bought it and then like caitlin and i watched it just kind of randomly for our podcast and I fell in love with it and immediately went back to their site and bought the uh, the Hulk Hogan ripoff bandana they made with it that just says Cruel Jaws in Hulk Hogan's font. Amazing. <laughs> they just released such, like the coolest fucking merch for it and it rules. And like I said, like I love it. I think, if I remember correctly, all of the shark footage is from Joe D'Amato's Deep Blood, which I don't know why because that movie's boring as fuck. Um, we got to do something with that I th shark footage. I think Jaws put it two, in something good. Jaws two, three, and the, and Revenge, and then I think the last shark is like where all of the shark footage comes from. Because like I don't, I can't remember if anything in this is actual footage of like the Bruno Matai shot of shark stuff. I f I think there is, Seems but I can't like, remember. No. Like I think, uh, like I think the stuff at the regatta might be stuff they actually shot. Like there's the scene where like the shark like is like attacking somebody that like has like where his mouth is like covered in blood. But I also like I have not seen the last shark, so I don't know. Yeah. Like like, well, uh, uh, <laughs> on the cover of Last Shark, there's somebody on like in one of those fucking like wind sailboats so I'm going to assume all of that footage is probably from that <laughs> I need to that watch that out. I think that might be on Tubi or something I should probably watch that soon it's been on my watch list for a long time uh, so yeah I love this movie Kit was this first time watch uh, no I I'd watched it at some point in the past like year but I didn't mark it on my letterbox and i was like what the fuck that's weird uh yeah this is the second watch i think and it is delightful <laughs> thoroughly enjoyed it 
Uh, alright. Uh, so, Katie, I know you said you did not like it, but, uh... What, what are, like... Explain initial, yourself. Yeah, some initial thoughts before... <laughs> um... I felt like... It was kind of boring. How dare you? <laughs> I I think I think it's just if maybe if I had I don't know. I also had to like rewatch like some of the demon stuff today and I think I just like wasn't in the mood for like this kind of this movie gave me whiplash. <laughs> it like hard cuts into situations that we have no like pretext for at all. And then it'll just like hard cut away from somebody maybe dying. We don't know. I don't know. I just, I, I think I just wasn't in the mindset to find it funny. And whereas like maybe under other circumstances, like I would have thought it was funnier. I just, I might be, I hate to say this, but I might just be, I might just be having watched too many shark movies right now. Well, we watched all the good ones though. Well, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I get that. Like, that's like I've had like some of the period. Like, I I feel like when we did like the two months of shark movies, especially ones that like were all pretty similar. I had that, but I don't know. This one, this one's a banger. And I I think I just missed like I think the the issue for me with this one is that like like you said it is literally just like footage stolen from a bunch of stuff that's placed together and so to me it didn't feel like an authentic not that it didn't feel like an authentic movie but i miss i miss like cohesiveness a, a cohesive shark oh, movie if that makes it's, sense it's it's wild because there's like so much shit that like on a first watch like i remember like i haven't listened i was i was gonna listen to the episode caitlin and i did again because i can't remember what we talk about in it because we like recorded it like immediately after watching it for the first time and like i know i was fucking baffled because it's like yeah. if you know nothing going into it, you're like okay so there's a little girl yeah. in a wheelchair that's best friends with some dolphins the mob is a part of this for some reason and are trying to like do yeah, shit while the shark's attacking hulk hogan's brother is in it for some reason <laughs> like <laughs> I, I could definitely, I definitely understand, like, the whiplash that this movie causes, especially on a first watch. <laughs> yeah, they also talk about balls a lot. Hell yeah, they do. Busting As they ball, should. punching ball, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I, I, I think I just, yeah, uh, I don't know how I would have reacted if, like, I didn't know it was all just, like, random shit put together but like yeah that was either way it's very baffling <laughs> that was the thing it's like i i just blind bought it because i was like the like the the slip cover says jaws five cruel jaws and i was like i don't know what this is but i gotta see it yeah and like i i think i had maybe i probably looked up just like either or i probably looked at like the description on severin and i'm sure it said something about like you know notorious shark movies stolen footage like whatever so I had like the slightest idea of what it was but like yeah it's definitely like a, a fucking a, a head trip the first time you watch it because it's 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 yeah. wild there's so much going on in this movie at the same time nothing's going on yeah and i think like to be fair when somebody if somebody were would say to me like it is a sh it's a shark movie uh, like a shark attack movie but stolen footage in my mind, a lot of the ones that we watch are like the sci-fi ones. Stolen do that a footage, lot. right? But it's like it's like nature they, they footage take, instead. Right, right, and not necessarily like taking a shark attack scene from like a horror movie or whatever and splicing it into a different scene <laughs> and like trying to make it work that way or whatever. Um, so like, it is it is a little bit different, but like, yeah, I don't feel like um, again. I feel like more people should have been eaten, but that's just my <laughs> opinion. It's, <laughs> it's probably hard to get away with, like, somehow slipping in fucking, uh, I don't know, Richard Dreyfus into this movie when you're stealing footage, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Real quick, is this a Baja Gold Mountain Dew? Not a fan. Ooh. 
Okay, I have mine, and I haven't tried it yet. It's very pineapple. Kind of. Ugh. I anticipate not liking it because I love real pineapple, but I'm not really a super fan of yeah, like same. pineapple drinks or like tropical drinks. And so, yeah, so this is bo- so also I went to Circle K to try and find that Purple Thunder or whatever, and they have posters all over the store still. And when I went in there and I asked about it and the girl was like, oh, we don't carry it anymore. And I was like, okay, take your posters down then. Like, they're all over. And then she, I know, right? Then she was like, oh, but we have like this and we have Baja Gold. And I was like, what the fuck is that? Hadn't even heard of it. Yeah, so it's Baja Gold, Baja Blast, but pineapple. And I'm going to try it right now. Oh, it smells very (laughs) pineapple-y. Mm. It kind of reminds me of like Lifesaver pineapple. Yeah, it's just another one of those ones that, like, I think if it was one of those like mini cans would be fine. Mm-hmm. But a whole bottle is like too much. I don't know how somebody would drink all of this. No, I mean it. It's like, it's like. Yeah, it's like Lifesaver, Pineapple, Ring, and then the aftertaste is Baja Blast. It's, like, fine. Uh, I guess if you were really into pineapple, maybe. It's fine. Did you try that? Have you tried the mango uh, one yet? No, not yet. So we just got I that work, have. and I was like, I don't know if I could do pineapple and mango. I'm, I, I, I will try that one after we finish. Because, um, spoiler alert, I don't have a shout-out again today. <laughs> I thought about it all day, and I just honestly haven't been doing anything with my life to be excited about anything. Same. <laughs> that, that sounded really I mean, sad, but that's yeah. just, like, that's just how it is, right? Like, yeah. yeah so same, same, try... but sad. Actually sad. <laughs> Didn't you just go on a trip? Yeah, and I got back, and now everything sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Kit got back, <laughs> got back to Texas, and Texas seems to be doing great. Oof, yeah. Fucking nightmare. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get so into yeah, the, I will try the, that the good it. nightmare of Cruel Jaws. Oh, okay. I want to hear Katie explain okay, so this movie. <laughs> I'm going to try my best. Um, th- this movie starts with guys on a boat. Hell yeah. Shocker, start. right? And uh, they're going to dive into the water to retrieve top secret Navy material from the shipwreck <laughs> to sell and be rich. So smart. So, I, That's what we I mean, do. Sounds, sounds waterproof to me. Um, and so we get like the credits and like the title over them, like doing underwater stuff as per usual. And um, there's a dude that's, like, staying up on the boat. He's really nervous. Uh, He's doing some dip. Uh, And the shark comes. And, again, this, like, first shot of scene of the shark, like, was kind of creepy looking because it was, like, in dark water. And it was, like, kind of murky. But it's, like, very obviously, as Kit said, a great white. There's, like, no... It's like, a great white because like, I think through everything except for one one shot. Yeah, and like my thing is like I know I know some stuff about sharks. We have learned about different kinds of sharks just from watching these movies and like so obviously there's like specific sharks that we can tell the difference of. But I feel like even if you are somebody who doesn't know anything about sharks, like, you know what a great white shark is, and you know what a great white shark is not. Yeah, again, like, Jaws it, exists. <laughs> like, literally, anytime you see, like, a cartoon shark in a show, I mean, obviously, they put jaw heads in there, too. Right. They're playing drums. Or street sharks. <laughs> yeah, they, they are playing drums. They're, like, almost any, like, iconic cartoon shark you can think of is a great white so the 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 idea that you're gonna try and pass off a footage of a great white and say it's a different kind of shark for no reason also 
Like, there's literally no reason this has to be a tiger shark at all. So, like, that's just goofy to me. But anyways, the shark comes immediately and is like, you know, whatever. (laughs) And I was really confused about what was happening in the scene because we don't get an explanation about what's happening until, like, almost the end of the movie. Because what's happening is that the divers are down there and they, like, shoot shoot at the shark like explosives or something and then the shark is like ramming its head into like the entrance of this cave a bunch and I so like I'm not I'm not really sure what's happening here I guess maybe the shark feels like it can't get into the cave to eat them so it's like ramming it to try and get in but it's just like covering it with rocks more so I was like really confused uh one of the guys also sits a bomb and then there's an explosion and it like knocks one of the guys out. So the other guy like gets him and tries to take him to the surface, but the shark comes and eats them. I guess we don't really, we see the shark bite one person pretty much only, but I guess they're eaten. Yeah. And then the shark starts ramming into the boat and like literally they show the boat. They show like an upshot from underneath the water of the boat, and it's like a silhouette. And then they show the shark ram into it. Then they show the guy on the boat fall, like like go whoa, and like you know fall or whatever. And then it literally in the middle of this clip, super hard cut to like an RV driving on the highway. <laughs> and I was like, what? So, what is happening here? Very. I was I like did a double take. I was like, "What the fuck's going on? Did I miss something?" Like I feel like that I was watching this movie, and then the commercials came on, and I like went to go do something else and came back, only to realize I've missed five minutes of the movie. Like that's what it feels like when you're watching this movie. <laughs> you're just like missing time. I don't know what's happening. It's perfect the rules. <laughs> so <laughs> we are introduced. To Billy and Vanessa and they are a couple that are on vacation and she's like giving Billy a hard time she's like last year when we were on vacation you left me to chase killer whales yeah. no no don't be doing that and he's like huh, don't worry babe we're gonna disco and do this and do that like don't worry it'll be fine and she's like okay <laughs> but they pull up to an aquarium and she's like something smells fishy here and he's like don't worry about it so they go into this aquarium and there's a dolphin show happening uh there is a little girl who is named Susie, and she is in the water doing the dolphin show also but then they pick her out of the water and put her in a wheelchair because she can't walk i guess but she can swim. I, so uh, my, I don't know. My, my assumption is that she was just sitting on a dolphin the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and Billy, Billy talks to um, Hulk Hogan about like how there was an accident. And I was really confused at first because his character's name is Dag, D-A-G. Hell yeah. Dag I Hogan. He, I thought he said dad. And so <laughs> Dag is like, this is, he was like, this was, it was really tough because I lost my wife. My daughter can't walk. And I was like, didn't he lose his mom? Like, that's a weird way to phrase that. And then I had to like get back and be like, oh, his name is Dag, not dad. His name it's is not Dag Sorensen. <laughs> Honestly, less weird to call him dad than dag. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, like, essentially, yeah, they're just talking about how the accident was, like, really hard. And that's why Billy came to, like, visit or whatever. I'm not really sure why Billy is affiliated with these people, to be honest. But it's fine. Uh, and then also, of course, we find out that literally the livelihood of the aquarium that dag runs uh, relies on his son Bobby winning a regatta of some sort. And I was like, here we fucking go. So there, the, the sheriff comes 
and basically is like, hey, by the way, you have 30 days or like you need you're going to be evicted from the aquarium. And I think their names are Bob, Bob and Tommy are like immediately mad. And they're like, oh, get the fuck out of here. I'm going to fucking rip that guy's balls off. They're like really mad. And then Billy's just like, hey, Sheriff, how's it going? And then the sheriff is just like, oh, Billy. And then everything's fine. Like the mood immediately switches from like being mad at the sheriff and I was like okay (laughs) um and then Billy says that he has been on a floating fish freak boat for 18 months whatever that means (laughs) um meanwhile there's a couple running on the beach and they uh my nightmare happens where they stumble upon a dead body and the sheriff poke it with a stick that's the whole yeah. movie. I just <laughs> I, I, I need everyone to know that the top thing people ask on Google about this is is Cruel Jaws a real Jaws movie? <laughs> it absolutely is. Yeah, I I, I believe this you, is you actual ha- Jaws. This is Jaws five in my mind. You have a event that needs to take place for the livelihood of a child in a wheelchair, and you have a mayor. So I like what else is there that you need um oh yeah so there's a dead guy and the sheriff wants billy's opinion on if the guy was killed by a boat propeller or not and i'm not really sure what qualifies billy to be diagnosing how somebody was murdered but here we are Billy immediately is like, no, I think it was a shark or a killer whale, but I don't know. You have to do an autopsy. And so they they do the autopsy, and the coroner is just like, yes, it was a shark. They're standing there, like, over the body, and he's like, yeah, I think it was a shark. Another super hard cut to this man named Sam, who I was calling the mayor for the first half of the movie until he... Sam goes to speak to the mayor and I realized he was not the mayor. He's just some kind of like landlord guy who is just like owns a bunch of property around the area. I mean, so like, I think he's supposed to be part of like the mob in this, isn't he? I think that, I think that he lives there and the mob is like outsourcing him <clears throat> To, like, buy up the land so that it doesn't look suspicious. Because he's, like, he's, like, a man about town. Like, everybody knows who he is or whatever. He's, like, rich family guy or something. And so I think, like, that's the situation. But anyways, he shows up. His name is Sam. And he's, like, um, he, (laughs) so it's, like, the mayor, Billy, and the sheriff are, like, at a bar talking, and Sam shows up and says, are you out of your mind? Like, it hard cuts to him saying, are you out of your mind? And I was like, what happened here? Because then he's just like, yeah, don't go running around on a wild goose chase because, you know, sometimes people just die. Like, it just happens. And I was like, what are you talking about? What's happening here? <laughs> and then, of course, you know, we find out that it's about to be uh, tourist season, and also, the regatta is starting soon, and so they can't just be shutting down the beaches because of a shark. And again, this is the same issue I had in the last movie, where I'm like, you can't stop if people, like, y- y- do people not go to a beach and assume that there's a shark there? Uh, I <laughs> like, don't think most uh, people think about sharks any at all when they... How? I that assume is... there are sharks everywhere, I, around yeah. every awesome. corner. If I see a glass yeah. of water, Grocery I store, assume there's a, a shark, shark in there. Toilet, a shark, like any yeah, water. Yeah, absolutely. I, you, I saw a ghost shark. <laughs> Water-based lubricants, I, absolutely not. I saw we we just shark. Yeah, and I'm just like, this whole idea of like, we can't say there's a shark because then people won't come here. People absolutely will still come to the beach, like calm down. It's literally their prerogative if they want to go swimming in the ocean. So I don't know. Anyways, they're like, yeah, um, yeah, well, they're like, don't worry about it. And they're basically just going to like lie about knowing about the shark. They're like, yeah, don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, Then 
Then Sam says, dozens of people drown in accidents. Are you going to blame all those on sharks too? And Billy goes, yeah, maybe. And I was like, okay, Billy. (laughs) Um, Billy says that, uh, oh, and then he says, the only shark that can that can be capable of having eaten that guy was a tiger shark. And I'm not really sure why there's no explanation. Uh, but Billy also says that the tiger shark's mouth must've been huge. <laughs> um, I just, just, why, why not just make it a fucking great white? Like, I don't understand the idea it, of being like, no, it's a tiger. shark. No, it's a tiger shark. It has to like, be. They eat honestly, license plates. Tiger shark does sound really cool. Um, they but look like, cool too, yeah. but they're considerably smaller. That's I'm good googling right now. Tiger sharks average about ten to fourteen feet and max out just over eighteen feet. Fully grown white sharks. Their official name. I'm not calling it a white shark. It's a great white. Often reach about sixteen feet. So yeah, a tiger shark, I guess, can get bigger than a great white. But like, yeah. okay, here's the top question: Which is worse, great white or tiger shark? Tiger sharks are one of the big three aggressive shark species, along with great white sharks and bull sharks. So like, the great white shark is the only species that attacks and kills more people than a tiger shark. So yeah, okay. Back to my question. Why not just, why does it, why does it have to be a tiger shark? I guess, I guess so that little girl could say, daddy is a tiger shark when a shark and a tiger have a baby. Good question. Like, is it for that joke? Because this movie would be a seven out of five if it was a weird tiger and shark hybrid. I agree. You know what? Actually, this reminds me of, um, I'm pretty sure it was Frosted Flakes. You know how... Well, not I, at I don't all know what if I they thought still, you were going to talk about. <laughs> well, you know how, like, I, I'm sure they still do this. I don't know. But on cereal, they had, like, prizes that you could, like, send away for. Yeah, like if you... And then would they would, get, like, like, send them to you UPCs in the mail. UPCs or whatever. Yeah. I did one one time for literally a tiger shark. And it was, like, Tony the Tiger shark or, like, tiger head, but then the back half of him was a shark, and it was a stuffed animal, and it was a tiger shark, and it was the coolest thing ever. I'm going to see if I can find a picture of it. It's horrifying. Tiger shark. I'm going to type Tony Tiger (laughs) shark stuffed animal. I'm pretty sure it was Tony the tiger, because I also remember his little bandana being on it. Oops. Maybe it wasn't Tony the Tiger. It was probably like fucking the bee from Cheerios, but as a shark. Oh, I found it. Okay, it wasn't Tony the Tiger. It was something called... Oh, it was Captain Crunch. Meanie's Special Edition Tiger Shark Captain Crunch promotion. I don't know what that means. I'm going to see if I can get the picture and show you guys. It is a tiger head. The front arms are... Oh my god, there it is. I don't want to think still, about a shark having cute. arms, because that's horrifying. Charms. Okay, and if you think about it, claws. Yeah, that's I can't cute. believe this This just brought up like such a deep memory for me. <laughs> this fucking movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the best movie of all time. Yeah, see, it's a good all right. movie. Alright, I sent it to you. You can see it. Thank you. Okay, so now we're introduced to yep, no Ronnie. Thank you on this. Isn't it? Cute? No, I think it's cool. I wonder it if I still looks have like it. Garfield as a shark. <laughs> it's got a weird head. Yeah, like kind of. It also has like saber tooth teeth for some reason. Yeah, very strange. So yeah, two front tiger. So maybe the weirdest thing to me is that it has like chest fur still. So it's like, it's a furry shark. Anyway. It's like a seal. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, oh, man. I bet I don't have it still. I'm going to have to ask my mom. 
I'm like obsessed with it again. Um, okay, so so now we're introduced to Ronnie, who is Sam's son, and some douchebag friend, and they are basically just like on the beach being gross to girls and um, getting called dick brains. The douchebag. Oh, never mind. I wrote douche dude, but it's Ronnie. Ronnie goes home. He's like mad because Bob, who is Hulk Hogan's son, ha- has like a crush on his sister, and like they're not cool about that because I think there's like a racist thing going on here. And so Ronnie goes home and tries to convince his dad Sam that Dag is responsible for the shark somehow. No idea how that is sub- how that's the logic. But basically, he, he's like, yeah, he's responsible for the shark and everything that's happening because they're trying to get back at you for evicting them from the aquarium. And then tells him that Bob is like has a crush on his daughter and uh, Sam is really pissed off about it. Um, so now it cuts to a couple on the beach. They are swimming in the water and the shark comes and gets the girlfriend, I guess. Um Back at the aquarium, Susie is feeding the dolphins. Dag is like, hey, it's dinner time. And Sam's daughter has to leave. And so Bob is going to, like, walk her home or whatever. They have an extremely weird conversation about nothing. And then they kiss, like, right as Ronnie shows up. And then he's like, God, don't kiss my sister. Get Go home. Like, tells his sister to go home. And then the guys, like, beat bob up and i was like why did she just like leave and let him get his ass handed to him they literally like kick him in the head and knock him out um so he's like laying on the beach left for dead for all they know and then ronnie and his friends break into the aquarium to try and poison the dolphins um but all of the animals the dolphins and the seals are being very loud about them being there (laughs) so dag come to like fight see like what's happening because i guess they also live at the aquarium which is very strange and this is when they discover that um there's poison fish there so the sheriff gets called because oh so the sheriff gets called because of that girl getting eaten by the shark and um the cop is like oh, he's probably just drunk. I'll go throw him in the drunk tank. And then the sheriff is like, oh, wait. Oh, no, this is probably real. So he's going to interrogate him and then leaves. Like, we don't see him talk to the guy at all, but he leaves the station to go talk to Billy with some of the most insane 80s music I've ever heard in my life playing, like, (laughs) in the background and I don't know what was supposed to be going on because it's literally just him walking out of the station and like walking to the aquarium then it like hard cuts when he gets to Billy and then um yeah he goes to like talk to Billy about the attack and he goes Billy what do we know about sharks that's a good question and they're unknowable (laughs) Billy says well we know they're a sort of locomotive with a mouthful of butcher's knives. Sir, what are you on? What is this dialogue? Billy is like, I, I'm just like baffled by it. That's what we know. <laughs> I mean, Those are scientific facts about sharks. Yeah. Look, I'm just saying, this is where... we could make a shirt that's just the cover of Cruel Jaws, but all of his teeth are butcher knives. <laughs> So this is the scene where Billy was just like standing there looking at slides of sharks and the picture that he, they're looking at when he says this is legit of a tiger shark. And I think that's the only time we see a tiger shark in this movie, which is insane because the movie is supposedly about tiger shark killing people. Um, so then, um, the, the, uh, Sam, Sam, the, the, the property shark guy, comes because he's bringing a bunch of people to look at the aquarium uh, because he wants to bulldoze the aquarium and build a hotel there. And Dag accuses him of poisoning the dolphins. Susie 
Susie like gives him some solid dick. She's I don't remember what she says, but she's like stop being maybe she says stop being so cruel. She might have. But she basically <laughs> tells him to stop being mean and he's just like, Listen, oh my god. She's like, Yeah, stop being so mean, like we're just trying to live our life or whatever and then he tells Dag that if Bob doesn't stop seeing his daughter, they're gonna have to buy another wheelchair. And I was like, bro, this girl's like eight years old, all right? But it's fine because then the seal, Pop- Poppy, the seal, comes and pushes him in the water. Yeah. A um, a scene <laughs> that they literally use twice in this movie. Yeah, it's that good. <laughs> so. <laughs> you already filmed it. You might as well get the most out of it. Um. Okay, so it cuts. To Sam and the sheriff going to talk to the mayor, and this is where I wrote, "Oh, he has not been the mayor this entire time." So I had to go back and change all my notes so I wouldn't get confused. So they go to talk to the mayor about Dag, and the sheriff is essentially, you know, it's just like one of those scenes where the sheriff is like, "There's a shark. It's killed two people," and the mayor's just kind of like, "Well, I don't really know if I care about that." Essentially, um. And then it just, they're, like, in the middle of a conversation, and then it just hard cuts to all three of them now standing outside. And I was like, what? Look, editing <laughs> is an important thing. It's got to it's gotta be hard. I can't even imagine. That's, uh, it's going to so be yeah, hard when you just shoot like, an entire movie in probably two days. Because all yeah, of the rest of the like, footage is just stolen. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, it's like almost as if they shot this scene in an office, but then also outside and like couldn't decide like which one to use. So they just like spliced it, spliced it together like halfway through. It was crazy. <laughs> Anyways, they're outside now. And Sam is is like saying like, listen, we're not going to cancel the regatta. Like we need the regatta to happen, but I will pay for extra security and like people to patrol for the shark so that like it'll be fine. Um, meanwhile, Billy and Vanessa are making out to, like, what I can only describe as 80s workout music, is what it sounded like to me. Yeah, bangers. And, yeah, the sheriff shows up, and it's basically just like, oh, hey, Billy, the shark cages have arrived. And I was like, when did we find out about shark cages? What are you, I don't, what's happening? I don't know. Vanessa freaks out. And she's like, Billy, how many times do I have to tell you it's the fish or me? And Billy just, like, doesn't care. He's like, Vanessa, (laughs) calm down. It's only going to take, like, a a minute or whatever. And so she tells him to throw himself off of a skyscraper and then to go fuck himself. And she leaves. And I said, (laughs) perfect. You go, girl. Yes. I want you to, she says, like, I want you to, yeah, I want, it will. Yeah, it will. Uh, so she leaves to go to a club with her friend. Um, now we're at story time with Hulk Hogan and Susie. And Susie asks him <laughs> why sharks eat people. And if she saw a shark, she would just punch it in the nose. Yeah, same. So I'm wondering if more people should just try that. Yeah, it's a good plan. He, yeah. she says, even pictures, she says, pictures of sharks, just punch them right in the nose. <laughs> They need to learn fear. You know how many times I've punched my TV? <laughs> I've gone through so many TVs this year. That's why we have to spread out the shark movies. Yeah. I can't afford to be that doing this so much. Expensive. Shark yeah. month was a bad time. Yeah. Um, I did so much debt. So, oh yeah, so she said she's going to punch him in the nose. And then Dag, like, starts reading a book to her and she immediately falls asleep like drop of the hat is asleep and i was very envious of her yes same so vanessa and her friend uh show up at a club they call it and um she's like complaining about billy she she immediately runs into ronnie and her friend ronnie is like really into vanessa so they go off and talk and she's complaining about billy and then ronnie says I'm desperately lonely and I'm full of love. You can read it in my eyes. And I was like, I would have laughed at that guy and walked away. (laughs) 
You wouldn't have immediately fallen in love with him? I don't think so. Uh, I mean, it's hard to say what you would not, what, what you would do in a situation, but the way this guy is so sleazy and then the way he said it just made me, it like made my skin crawl. I hated this guy. Um, Billy does show up at the club to try and find Vanessa and, um, Vanessa's friend just says, oh yeah, she, she went off with Ronnie and Billy's just kind of like, okay. Like, doesn't really seem to care that much. Um, Bob and Sam's daughter see each other and basically are, like, kind of, like, making out a little bit, complaining about how... They're they're trying to do, like, a Romeo and Juliet situation here where they're, like, complaining about their dads. Um, And, like, what it comes down to is that the strife is essentially that, like, her dad is trying to evict them because he doesn't like them and like his dad hasn't done anything wrong except own an aquarium so like i don't i'm not really sure like what the, yeah, the mom doesn't fuck around what, they need that aquarium i guess so and they, they talked to, about like running supposed to uh i don't know sell dolphins <laughs> i love that the aquarium too is literally just like it looks like a lake like a little lake marina with like three dolphins in one seal <laughs> And like that's the aquarium. Yeah, and that, that's that's the, like that. About all you're ever gonna see in any aquarium you go to. <laughs> um. Yeah, they talk about running away together. Vanessa and Ronnie play tag on the beach, or keep away, or whatever the fuck. She's like running around, and he's like, "I'm gonna get you!" He <laughs> and they're like laughing and shit, and it was, I hated it. <laughs> and then she's like let's go, let's go swimming. And so they get in the water and they're like making out or whatever. And their friends show up and are like, haha, let's scare them. And they get a, like a bullhorn and like pretend to be the police. They're like, sir, I don't know what they say. Sir, get out, this is the police. And he's just like, do you know who I am? I'm Ronnie, whatever the fuck their last name was. And then they're like, he, he, he. And he thinks it's like the cops. So they start like, they get out of the water and there's just kind of like a a shot of like the shark being there. So it's like the shark was there, but they did, they didn't notice. And so like, they're fine or whatever. Ominous. Um, They are pretty tricky. (laughs) The shark's like, ah, why I wanna, they gave me the slip. So then the sheriff is giving a presentation about shark nets. And so they've got these huge, nets that they're dropping into the water and then they'll also have people on boat to like protect the people in the regatta uh and they're gonna like do patrols on the beach and shit or whatever and so the sheriff is like sitting on like a life guard bench or whatever just like staring out into the ocean and these tourists come up specifically because they saw on tv that the shark was killing people and they want to see the shark I, if I heard there was a shark at any beach here, there's no, I would immediately move a whole state further into away from the water. Yeah, and so they they like specifically came to see the shark. The guy brought his family to see a killer shark, and when the sheriff says that like oh the shark is gone, it's not here anymore, um, they're like oh man, and then the dude hits his kid. I was like, what the fuck is going on here? Um, then there's, like, some dudes in a helicopter that see the shark, and they shoot it, and, um, it's just some random shark. They pull the dead shark, like, up out of the water, and Billy looks at it, and it's just like, I don't know, I don't think that's him. <laughs> it's literally uh, so, they, Jaws. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. Then, um, this is when they find the boat that got destroyed in the beginning of the movie, and Sam is like, oh, it was probably just because they liked to do dynamite fishing. Yeah. Which I, I guess you just throw dynamite in the water and then collect the fish. Yep. So I guess that's why they had, like, di- dynamite and bombs and shit down under the water. But I was just like, what? I don't understand. Anyways, so they just think he blew himself up. Um, but... Now we're on to the regatta. <laughs> I know that's like that's like a thing I've I've seen in like movies and TV shows that I assume 
somebody does. And I'm just curious if there's, like, an official number of how many people have blown themselves up, like, throwing a grenade into, like, a lake to fish. <laughs> I would think probably a lot. I'm gonna, I I'm don't gonna know. bet, like, there's at least ten people that have done that. Absolutely. Probably. People, like, blow themselves up and catch themselves on fire or doing stupid-ass, like, gender, gender reveal <laughs> things. So there's, like, no way... I don't know. I, I I don't I don't know much about killing know, animals and know, stuff, so I couldn't tell you. Don't know much about dynamite fishing. I don't know any as I as I've clearly stated, I do not know anything about dynamite or how it works. So, um, you should fix that. Could be important. That you know, you're honestly that's very true. <laughs> one day you never life, know. One day my life if, might come down to having to know how to use dynamite so what if you're what if you're looking for gold in the mountains and they cave in and you need to blast your way out with dynamite uh well at this stage in my life i guess i wouldn't be able to do it i don't know <laughs> as as society <laughs> crumbles we're all gonna need to know how to fish with dynamite so yeah, <laughs> yeah. i should i should take some online dynamite classes I don't own and, a fishing uh, rod, but I've got dynamite. Yeah, I, I will certainly be put on another list if I start searching dynamite. Um. Okay, so the regarda, the, the regarda, <laughs> that damn regarda is starting. The regatta is starting, and I guess for anyone that doesn't know, a regatta is like a water race, and up until this point, I really assumed that that these were just going to be like boats and i was like i don't really understand like okay yeah we've seen the shark ram a boat a bunch of times but like i wasn't really grasping why this was like such a big deal and it's because they're they're windsurfing they're not on boats it's it's a windsurfing regatta which sounds very lame but <laughs> um this is when Billy decides that, uh, and I quote, that motherfucker is acting strange, like someone trained him to attack and kill. So uh, all of a sudden, Billy's decided that the shark behavior is strange. Uh, Ronnie is mad about his sister and Bob, and he tells Bob that he's going to drown him, which seems Harsh. really aggressive. Yeah. So Bob and Ronnie are, are, are racing in the regatta. Bob, again, is Dag's son, and he needs to win the regatta so that he can have the money to pay the rent on the aquarium. Otherwise, they're going to get evicted. And Ronnie just wants to win because he hates Bob. Um, so, yeah, the regatta starts. This is when I realized it was wind sailing. And... This is the scene, okay, so, like, they they show, like, the guys start to wind sail, and it's, like, very funny because it's, like, a backed out shot of, like, a bunch of people wind sailing, but then when they zoom in on just the two main people, it's, like, very clear that they're not wind sailing because it's just, like, showing, like, their upper bodies, but then they're, like, moving around, and then they keep, like, going back and forth between the two talking to each other and I'm like I don't it doesn't <clears throat> it doesn't look good I mean it works so, for me I, I, it's, I would watch that like on ESPN 6 <laughs> <laughs> uh, so not too soon after the regatta starts the shark shows up we just see like the shark swimming at first and um, this is, and then he starts like biting. He like starts biting on the shark gate that they put up in as a barrier or whatever. Um, I, I yeah, I wrote the fake wind sailing is something else. Uh, Ronnie and Bob start like shit talking to each other, and then Ronnie kicks Bob into the water right as the shark has like bitten through the safety net or whatever. And so everyone is, like, watching the race from the dock. And this is when Dag notices the shark. And um, then the sheriff is like, oh, no, a shark. And he's, like, yelling and trying to get people 
to like get out of the water uh like as if anyone could hear them this is a scene i was talking about that is just utter chaos because it's like three different scenes like (laughs) spliced together but like the original music is in all of them and it's just like absolutely chaotic but it's basically just like people in the water racing the shark attacking people and then people trying to like run out of the water onto the beach and it's just like literally absolute chaos it rules um, it's so good <laughs> the music's like do 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 it's just like <laughs> it's just like crazy i can't even um while all of this is happening um part of the dock that everyone was standing on like disconnects somehow and like floats into the ocean so the shark is like biting on people there at this point um again i don't know what movie this is from but we're seeing like the big shark puppet like biting on the dock and the shark puppet is pretty cute i don't think it's like the original one though but like um, like i guess they made they they made a shark for this movie that like kept breaking so they never actually got to use like any footage of it hmm. which also like that's pretty much the problem with jaws like that's why the shark in jaws is not seen as much is because like they just had so much trouble with the animatronics and the shark and it's spielberg was stupid and was just like i'm gonna just continue to do it and bruno matai a genius was like i'm just stealing footage from everything else right (laughs) (laughs) um so yeah shark is eating people or whatever uh susie's wheelchair basically goes rolling down the dock and like hits something and dumps her over into the water uh but vanessa jumps in to save her and then billy is like vanessa no vanessa no and is like reaching for her and then um it hard cuts to them being at the hospital at nighttime and everybody like checking on Susie, who is totally fine she's just in shock she asks if Vanessa is okay and they're like yeah she's fine she's at home with Billy and then she says sharks are really bad and then Dag says there are much worse animals and I was like (laughs) okay um then the sheriff tells Sam that he needs to offer a reward for the shark because a bunch of people died essentially uh because of him and then this is when Billy comes up and says that Vanessa is actually dead. And I was like, what? (laughs) So we don't see her get eaten. They tell that little girl, Susie, that Vanessa's fine. Like, how did they think that was going to go when Vanessa just never shows up again? (laughs) If she's actually dead. I I mean, she doesn't say anything for the rest of the movie, to be fair. So, um, yeah, Vanessa's dead. Uh, then Dag gives a presentation and is basically just like, oh, he says the tiger shark we're looking for is a homicidal maniac. And one of the guys I mean, does, like, have, oh, shoot does have butcher knives for teeth, so. That's true. What else are you going to do? One if of you the... have butcher knives for teeth, like, you're, you're probably just going to eat and murder people. I mean, yeah, like, you don't really have a choice. Uh, I guess you could open a deli, but... Aside from that. Imagine all that meat you could cut at once if all your teeth were bleeding. It would be pretty impressive. Um, one of the kids is like, what? He's just a shark. I'll just shoot him in the head. And then Dag says that they have to be respectful of the shark. And I was like, you just called him a homicidal maniac. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, my gosh. Um, this, is when we, this is when we find out that the mob is somehow involved. Because the guy is like, the guy's back in New York, they ain't gonna like this. This entire mob thing, I guess, was part of the original Jaws book that, like, didn't make it into the movie. (laughs) That, like, Bruno was just like, yeah, we'll use this. Because I think... (laughs) We need mob stuff. I don't know if it's just, like, a credit they had to give, or if it's, like, actually... Like, he actually helped write it, but the guy who at least wrote the script for um, Jaws and Jaws 2, I think maybe Jaws 3, Peter Benchley, Benchley, 
uh, yeah, eventually, yeah, has like writing credits on this, and I don't, mm. I don't know if it's like he actually helped write on it or if it's just they were like you used enough of his like story, using uh, his material, because uh, yeah. he almost definitely lifted like word for word sentences out of the book. I would imagine because yeah, oh, there yeah. are there are lines lifted word for word from Jaws, so. Yeah, like, I don't know. Yeah. I've never heard anything about, like, legal issues with it, but, like, maybe it's because they just gave him credit to begin with. I'm not totally sure. I mean, have you, like, you've seen the movie. He probably is just like, I do not give a shit about this. <laughs> He's like, yeah, fuck it. whatever. Let him come for me. <laughs> Sue me. I don't have any money. <laughs> Spent all my money um, on this failed fucking Jaws animatronic I built. Yeah. <laughs> You know what is so funny about that? When I went to um, Universal Studios and took, like, this the tour or whatever, part of the tour is that you drive by a lake and the Jaws, like, Bruce guy is supposed to, like, come, like, speeding towards you from the water or whatever. But the day that we went, it was, like, broken. I'd be so mad. So... Well, and so, like, to be fair, I didn't know that that was part of the ride at all. Like, I didn't know any, like, anything that happened on it. But it was still kind of creepy because they had to drain the, like, lake that it was in. So we drove by it, and it's just, like, this huge, like, massive empty hole where the lake should be. And then, like, the little animatronic in the middle, like, covered with a tarp. And I was like, ooh. (laughs) That's weird. Yeah, it was very strange. And then that's when, like, the, the host or not the host, like, the person, I don't know what you call them, the tour guide would, told us, like, that, unfortunately, it was, like, broken or something. So, get fix your animatronic sharks, okay? I'm trying to have <laughs> an experience here. Jeez. Um, okay, so, yeah, the mob shows up, and basically, he has given Sam the business about, like, what happened at the regatta and, like, how it doesn't look very good uh, because, like, they've invested... <coughs> in the property and if the shark is like killing people and all this stuff it's like bad press and people aren't going to want to go there and spend money like essentially so he threatens him and says like you better take care of the shark so ronnie overhears this and says don't worry pop i'm going to kill that shark for you and he 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 does not say it nice like that but (laughs) he and his friends go out in a boat uh to go kill the shark at the same time bobby Billy. Billy and Bob. <laughs> Bobby and Billy Bob Thornton. Yeah, Bobby Bob Billy Thornton's and Billy, <laughs> Billy and Bob sick. are also going out on a boat and this is when like legit Star Wars music is playing and I was <laughs> so confused. So good. I was and it's like they do it twice. This is like the first time and I was like, what's happening here? Um this is when, uh, yeah, they're on the boat. Dag talks about how he used to be a whaler and makes fun of Billy for bringing equipment on the boat. This whole scene is, like, very strange because they're just, like, shooting the shit and, like, making jokes the whole time. Like, they're just having, like, a good old time, and it's very weird. Uh, this is probably my favorite part of the movie because it is absolutely ridiculous. So on Ronnie's boat, they put a pot roast on a hook and put it in the water to lure the shark. The shark comes and bites onto the meat and is like, you know, thrashing around or whatever. Ronnie tells whoever's driving the boat to pull over because he can't get a good shot. And I was like, sir, you're in the water. Pull over to what? (laughs) The side of the water? That makes no sense. He's like, pull over, pull over. So he's shooting at it. Um, you know, just with like a shotgun or whatever, and it's definitely not working. The um, the then it then the shark like he eats all the meat. He rams the boat a bunch of times. Again, in a in a scene that I don't understand, the shark goes underneath the boat and like gets in the way of the motor so that the so that the boat stops working. But it's like getting cut up by the motor. Yeah, it's tough. Propeller? I guess, I guess. And so then they're like, oh, man, we're stuck. The boat's not we're moving, whatever. And so they put another roast in the water. 
And um, then the shark pops up like, they show the same footage of the shark biting into the, the piece of meat. And for some reason, Ronnie gets scared and can't shoot at the shark. The shark, uh, like, rips the meat off so that the pole breaks and knocks Ronnie into the water. Um, He's getting, like, chomped on. His friends are screaming and freaking out. The girl, I don't know what, what is going on here, but she picks up, like, a can of gasoline and is like, ah! Ronnie and she's like (laughs) pouring the gas all over herself and the boat and then the other guy comes up and shoots a flare gun at the shark and the boat just explodes in my opinion the best scene in the film hard hard agree that's what I said because what the fuck why what was she I guess my question is if you're freaked out about your friend getting chomped on by a shark why are you picking up a can of gasoline and pouring it all over yourself. I mean, accidents happen. <laughs> I just, she literally was like, ah, and it's like dumping, dumping, dumping explosion. I was like, what <laughs> the fuck just happened? So Billy, Billy's boat sees the explosion. And so they're going to go over to like the coordinates and like check out what happened. Uh, but the boat breaks down. Uh, and Bob, is like, I'll go under there and check out what's going on. So he does. The shark does come over to their boat, but it doesn't attack Bob for whatever reason. And um, Billy says, Billy realizes that they're over top of the shipwreck from the beginning of the movie. And he's trying to be like, hey, do you know what was on that boat? And Doug's like, oh, shut up. Uh, We'll talk about it later. And so he doesn't say anything. And um, then the sheriff goes in a helicopter so this is my other favorite part because he he's like in the helicopter and he sees the shark the shark has like come out of the water so it's like the it's like the shark's neck and up and the shark is just like chilling looking at him like the shark thinks he's gonna throw a treat out of the helicopter and he's just like waiting (laughs) patiently and i was like he again the shark puppet is very cute he's just chilling like staring at him and i was like i don't think sharks do that (laughs) out of water but it's fine um and he's just chilling look at him then they put some meat on a hook and oh this is also when someone says we're gonna need a bigger helicopter (laughs) and i was like (laughs) uh because the shark is huge uh, they 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 get it you know throw some meat again we see the same lo- uh, same same footage of the shark biting into a piece of meat and um, they get the the shark on like the line and they like shoot at him um, this is when the shark pulls the helicopter down into the water <laughs> and then it like rams the bottom of the copter so that the sheriff falls out into the water and. Uh, I don't know if he died or not. Do we see him again? I'm pretty sure everybody in the scene dies. I I think he died and they just don't ever acknowledge that he's dead. Uh, because it cuts to Sam's house and the the gangster guy is back and he's like pissed off and he's like, you need to do something about this. And Sam is like, listen, he killed my only son. Also, he ate my yacht and my helicopter. So I really have nothing left. <laughs> Stayed out a shitload of money. <laughs> yeah. So the the mobster guy is just like, listen, you really fucked this up. Like, that's your fault. I brought in these other thugs. These two guys, like, are going to take care of the shark from now on. Like, we're going to handle things here. Also, I want the reward money. And he's just like, okay, fine. So the guys leave. Uh, this is when um, Sam's daughter, like, confronts him about having sent Ronnie after the shark. You know, Ronnie said or whatever. Sam, and she's like, I'm going to go tell Billy because he's the only decent person on this island. And Sam hits her and then locks her in her bedroom. Just just a lot of casual hitting of children in this movie. Um, so, meanwhile, everyone's back at the aquarium, I guess. Billy says, Billy, Billy says that the shipwreck, uh, 
the the what did they call it? Um, the secret Navy material that was in the shipwreck was actually a shark that was bred in captivity and trained to attack and kill people uh, because it's a weapon. It checks out. That's what all sharks are. And yeah, uh, and they're basically their plan is to blow it up with dynamite. Easy peasy. Um, Sam's daughter sneaks out of the house, goes to the aquarium, and is just like, "Oh my god, you guys! My dad, like these thugs are after you. You guys, like the you guys are in danger or whatever." And so the aquarium's in danger. Then they have to go to the aquarium because they left Susie alone at the aquarium. They left a child who cannot walk alone at an aquarium. Seems very smart. So they all run over to the aquarium, and the two thug guys are just, like, sitting in the car. And the one guy's like, this is the guy we're supposed to get. And so they're going to, like, they, they go, like, into the aquarium. I don't even know where this other building is that, that they're, like, in. But they basically, like, sneak in there and steal the coordinates of where the wreck is. And they steal their plan to dynamite the shark. And they also steal their dynamite, I guess. I'm not really sure. <laughs> it's fucked up to steal the plan and the dynamite. <laughs> like, pick one. Or, Come on. Or maybe it's, maybe it's poison. I don't know. Uh, what if it's poison and, dynamite? Oh, no. That'd be the fucked worst up. kind of dynamite. There you go. Yeah, right. Um, so, the guys... I do not know what that... Oh, oh, okay. So basically, they... And then they, like, knock out... Like, the guys come back to, like, get the plans or whatever, and the thugs, like, knock them out and get on their boat. And um, one of the guys is going to go dive down there uh, to, like, plant the dynamite, I guess. I don't know, but the shark shows up. (laughs) The scene was, like, pretty funny because the guy's, like, diving down there, and um, the shark just, like breaches the water with the guy like flopped out of his mouth <laughs> it fucking rules <laughs> this is the only time we see like technically sort of somebody getting bitten by the shark because like, he's like literally in his mouth um and it looks very funny and the and the other guy is like you know screaming and is upset and stuff um this is when billy's team is like out there again and they dive down to like set some charges for the dynamite there's just like a lot this scene this like part of the movie there's just a lot of like them swimming around and also the shark swimming around but like not around them or whatever and it was kind of like long there's just like a bunch of underwater stuff happening and stuff but everyone's fine and then the dynamites explode um we don't really see the shark like around the dynamite or get any sort of clarification that like the shark was there when they blew it up and that the shark is blown up uh it just cuts to um everybody watching the dolphin show and (laughs) after and like clapping and then sam has to give the reward of ten thousand dollars for killing the shark to dag uh and then the seal pushes him in the water again and everyone laughs the fuck a seal rules and it's the end. Cinema. Not a single leg drop the whole movie. <laughs> <laughs> so that was that was the uh, something. The best movie ever made. <laughs> it's a banger. <laughs> uh, I think it's yeah, it's on Tubi, right? Is that how? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody yeah. should go watch it. It rules. Yield tubes. You, even hearing the description, you you're not at all prepared for how chaotic this movie is <laughs> no because i feel like i i do feel sometimes that if you're like listening to these episodes and you haven't seen the movie that maybe sometimes the way because like you i like when i'm taking notes i cut out stuff you know like it's not the whole movie every time and you don't see like the transitions between things so there are probably some movies where people are listening if they haven't seen the movie that it does sound probably a little bit more chaotic like not a real movie right but this is like on another level 
like you're not you literally are not prepared for like the the whiplash of them cutting between scenes and like <laughs> cutting scenes in the middle of somebody saying a sentence it's just like and the acting also i can't describe a, a plus yeah. perfect this child might be the worst child actress i've ever seen <laughs> of all the children um it, it's probably up there but i'm sure there's somebody worse I'm I'm hard pressed to remember one at the moment, but yeah. Uh, all right, any news? Um, the only news that I saw is actually topical because they've announced cool Dark sequel. Week 20, no. 20, 2022 is going to air July twenty fourth, so in like a month. And um, for some reason, it's being hosted by the Impractical Jokers. Dude, they did some, they did some jackass last time. Yeah, um, I didn't see anything about the lineup yet. I think it just was an announcement, but it's really weird to me because I have never watched that show. I don't like, I don't not like prank stuff, but like, it's just like not really my thing. But for there's one person that works at the gym that always puts it on the TV. So within the last couple of weeks, I've watched, I've seen it a lot. So it just was like kind of a weird synchronicity that like all of a sudden they're hosting Shark Week. You're going to have a real problem and when I we hope... switch this podcast over to uh, America's Funniest Home Videos. You know what? I, I, I can't remember if I talked about this or not, but like right before we moved, I started watch, trying to watch America's Funniest Home Videos <laughs> and like... Have you watched it recently? Like no. <laughs> older, like like the original show. Um, not very funny, turns out. I don't think I've seen I, it I since don't... the 90s. Like whenever it was like, you know, the Bob Saget version was airing. Yeah, so that's what I, I was like watching those. And I was like, these are literally not funny. They're just like people doing things. And then like I specifically was watching because I was watching their like Halloween compilation and so, like, I do sometimes, like, prank shows where people are, like, getting scared by, like, I don't know, if somebody scares a baby with a Halloween costume or, like, some of those, like, or some of the really, there's, like, some really intense, like, Japanese scary game shows where um, they, they really, they really go all out for those. And I think those are funny sometimes, but, like, I don't necessarily, the, the problem that I have with Impractical Jokers is that, some of the episodes that I saw were like, I don't know, like, like bordering on like sexual harassment type situations with like some of the stuff that they were like saying to people. And then I know the people like afterwards probably like sign a waiver saying like, oh, it's fine. Yeah, like, you they, have to sign oh my a God. Waiver, like be on for them to actually they use did, the footage. Right. They did a it where one of the guys it's like the skinny guy uh was going to do an interview with um the lady who plays winnie cooper from the wonder years and he went in there wearing like just a speedo and he was like all greased up with like oil and stuff and so like he was doing the interview and she was already obviously very uncomfortable because he was like almost naked but then he would he, they had him say stuff like oh I had your poster up on my wall and I like made out with it and like all of this gross stuff. And I was just, it, it was like more uncomfortable than I found it funny. Okay. But anyways, I digress. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, it turns out America's Funniest Home Video is not very funny. If anyone's thinking about uh, taking no, a trip down that no road again. No one's thinking about watching America's Funniest Home Videos but you. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, just don't do it. Yeah, watch the uh, the one with uh, Carlton hosting it from uh, Fresh Prince. I think he was a host of that. It's okay. I don't know. There's also another guy who hosts it who is like, he's got like salt and pepper hair, and I don't know who he is, but he is not funny at all. I did um, not enjoy him. I know you're talking about. I can't think of his name offhand. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Jason Blum is apparently trying to get Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street so he could do remakes. So that's fucking terrible. I saw that. There was like an article that was like, Jason Blum thinks he can convince um, 
what's his name? Uh, Why am I blanking on his name? Robert England to uh, reprise his role, and I was like, okay. Uh, Tom Bergeron is the the host you were thinking of. Yeah, don't think he's funny at all. Uh, Daisy Fuentes was a host. Weird. Yeah, uh, no, no one give Jason Blum the rights to make anything. He's already gonna fuck up The Exorcist. So like, maybe don't let him. Petition do to stop Blumhouse, if you ask me. <laughs> uh, all right, Kit, what'd you watch this week? Uh, what did I watch? Uh, I watched Grimm, which was a VHS cover that haunted me as a child, but is a fucking dog shit movie. Do not recommend. Horrible. Uh, 19... Uh, what, what year was that? Do you know? Uh, it was like 95, 95. I That's think. That's I was trying to figure mm-hmm. out which Grimm you were talking about. Yeah. Awful. Cool cover. Terrible movie. I uh, watched Cemetery of Terror. Decent. Uh, not as good as the director's other movie, Grave Robbers, which fucking rips. Well, those, those are both Vinegar Syndrome, right? Yep. Got them in my package. I always pass those up, and I'm always like, these look like they would be good, but like I'm just like, ah, oh, I'll wait, and then they're, they're uh, just going to sell out before de- I do. Definitely recommend Grave Robbers in the next next sale. Sure I think the other one might be on Tubi, because I think I almost watched it, and then I was like, mm. I think, I think Rare, they both rarely, are. Yeah, rarely are they, those type of movies have like a specific look to the covers where i'm like this cover is so awesome i bet the movie is not very good though <laughs> uh and then i watched uh grizzly last night hell yeah because it's you know bear jaws and it was jaws anniversary <laughs> bear jaws grizzly rules you didn't rewatch grizzly too no <laughs> and i never will every time i'm like oh grizzly to oh wait i watched that and it sucks it's shit. just oh, a concert so movie <laughs> so bad fucking, fucking weird footage of that band playing in like a backyard that they're pretending is a stage yeah. is my favorite thing ever <laughs> uh, alright what about you Katie I didn't even watch anything you watch Vertical Limit no that was that was forever ago <laughs> um I started rewatching Stranger Things because I watched like the newest half of the season or whatever and like I hadn't watched any of it since whenever it originally aired and I was like totally forgot I was like I don't even know who that is so I went back and rewatched that and then we've been our new show since unfortunately we finished Gotham fucking like NCIS and it's so stupid <laughs> it is it is the worst it is the worst like crime show I've ever seen it. It's so stupid. Uh, I think that's it. It was not a good week for me. <laughs> uh, the only thing I watched outside of like June exploitation stuff is Cursed Films season two, and it's fine. the The Cannibal Holocaust episode's good. The rest are kind of like whatever. Very, like it has this weird like conspiracy theorist almost true crimey feel to it this season that like I did not enjoy yeah I can see that because I kind of got that vibe from some of the episodes of the last season and so like that doesn't surprise well, me at all like, the movies they do this season are like like the Wizard of Oz one is like kind of interesting only because like there's so much weird shit just in general about like the filming of that movie or how like yeah like, not even like i don't like the the whole thing about at least this season is like all of the movies they do are like it's it's a real stretch to be like this was cursed it's just like somebody got murdered while like you know like they do rosemary's baby and the entire episode is about like shared tate being murdered by charles manson and i'm like how does that have anything to do with rosemary's baby but um the wizard of oz one is like kind of interesting because there's just like all of the like um like tall tales or whatever about like 
one of the little people in the movie hanging themselves and it making it to like one of yeah. the you know the like urban legend yeah and how whatever. like they like you know uh, whatever the studio was like or, like re put different footage into like certain VHS tapes and I don't know that was kind of interesting but like I don't know the rest of it was just like was Serpent in the Rainbow cursed because they forgot to pay a bunch of the fucking like the, <laughs> uh, all of the people in Haiti and they started a riot like no that that's not really cursed it's I don't know it's very <laughs> weird like you could tell COVID may have impacted some I don't know it's it's fine I, I don't necessarily recommend it I don't like even the first season was the same way where I think like the Twilight Zone the movie episode was really good but the rest of the yeah. episodes were kind of like not great I don't know yeah yeah like it's it's also one of those things where like there's so many more interesting movies that you could talk about with like weird shit that happened that aren't these huge well-known movies that I wish they would do more of that but I guess it's harder to get people to like pay attention to something that's not a movie they don't already know yeah because it's like everybody already knows all of this shit about Wizard of Oz like it's like common knowledge so I don't we, I don't, I don't know I'll stop, rant, stop ranting about it <laughs> uh, alright Katie what's your shout out Mango Pepsi, Mango Mountain Dew, whatever oh, it was. Oh shit! Yeah, let me, <laughs> let, me let me get in it into it. So you had so is, much time. Well, no, I, this was my shout out time. Uh, this one is Baja Mango Gem. The I really like the label. Let's try it. Well, it doesn't really smell any kind of way. It's just water. <laughs> um, this one's kind of the opposite of the other one, where it tastes just like Baja Blast first, and then the aftertaste is mango-y. Something about, I don't know, Mango Mountain Dew does not sound good to me. Well, I mean, again, to me, it's just, it tastes very similar to Baja Blast. There's just, like, a tiny bit of, like, fruitiness to it. Like, this one's fine. I don't, if I wanted, wouldn't be like, hell yeah, I love mango. I'm going to get, you know, like, I want to drink this or whatever. It's totally fine. The mango flavor is, like, a lot more subtle than the pineapple is. Yeah, the pineapple is In the pineapple is. Mhm. I mean, I like it. Like Gosh. of all of them, I think I would get this one again if I was going to. I just. <laughs> I know, as someone who doesn't really like Mountain Dew that much, I sure have bought a lot of Mountain Dew this year. But yeah, that's because they like apparently only make weird flavors now. Uh, yeah, I'm sad I wasn't able to find that um, purple one because blackberry and plum is like my favorite. But oh well. Uh, Kit, what's your shout out? Uh, street tacos. Hell yeah. I made street tacos last Friday and they were so fucking good and I just want to make them again. We've <laughs> been talking about going to the beach like sometime soon and there's like a, a place that does these vegan street tacos there that are so fucking good. That's Hell like yeah. All, I was like, yeah, I'll go to the beach if I get street tacos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'll Absolutely. Go to the beach only for street tacos. Uh,. Fuck, I had my shout out and I don't remember what it was. Sky Tacos. Uh my shout out's not Sea Tacos. Not going to see movies in the theater because it's always a fucking nightmare. Yeah, you've been having a lot of bad luck recently. It's not recently, it's the last fucking decade. Ever since like <laughs> cell phones got like so fucking prominent in everyone's lives, it's just been fucking shitty. Uh, it's not great. And I think I'm just done. I'll just start releasing movies like the week after on fucking streaming to rent. I'll pay fucking sixteen dollars to watch it at home. Yeah, that was like the thing I at least enjoyed about like during the pandemic when HBO was like getting 
like whatever movies immediately because I'm like, oh, hell yeah. Or, you know, more drive throughs Drive-in. There's, drive, drive there's a bunch of drive-ins here. It's just like... Same. The, we don't, the problem is all of the ones that are like, you know, the closest to us only really do like the the big releases coming out. Like I like right. Mahoning drive ins like an hour and twenty minutes, hour and a half away. And they do like all of like the cool shit, like where I went to see Robocop last year on my birthday and they do like a lot of like cool like uh Old, you know, screenings of older movies. I don't think they do any new movies. They just do like old shit, or like they'll do like a marathon where you could camp out all weekend and they'll just play like zombie movies all night and shit. But yeah, all the other ones around here, it's like it's it's like bigger movies. And sometimes if there's not like a big release, like I like we went to see uh, the movie Becky with a uh, Kevin James. Yeah. Like, you know, that was that was fun, but yeah. You know, if I, if I wanted to go see fucking whatever Pixar movie, I could go to the drive it around here, but hard pass. <laughs> you don't want to see Minions 53 or Jesus whatever? Jesus Christ, they played that fucking trailer in front of Doctor Strange, and I was like, this yeah. looks atrocious. Also, like, why is this happening to me on Doctor Strange? <laughs> They're both dead. Oh. Well, I don't know if Despicable Me's or Pixar or not. I can't remember. I have no idea. Uh, uh, my shout out is yeah, I don't minions. know. Cool, cool people. No. <laughs> <laughs> um. Wow. Next week, I think it's just gonna be Katie and I, and we're gonna talk about all the shit I watched for June exploitation because we're uh, recording something for Patreon with some guests next week. Oh so, yeah. The next actual regular episode will be uh me telling Katie about a bunch of weird shit I watched. <laughs> and then I don't I don't think we have necessarily a plan for the month, so we'll figure something out. Killer toilets. That worked out well for Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm done with that. Everyone buy Death Toilet one, two, and three. Yeah, there's like five of them. Where's the, where's the box set at? Come on, Criterion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Criterion's death toilet box set. Um, if you want to support us so I can buy us all copies of the death toilet movies, you can <laughs> join our Patreon at patreon.com slash I hope you suffer podcast. Uh, a couple days or so after this is out, uh, Katie and I recorded an episode on the sect the mask of satan and the black cat just like demons four five and six or some shit like that and it's uh some movies the black cat somehow a demons movie somehow an edgar Allan poe adaptation and somehow connected to suspiria <laughs> and inferno makes sense yep. italy doing the most we're all better off for it. Uh, you can buy merch at our store frontier shop. Leave us a rating on Spotify and a rating and review on iTunes. Tell us how mad you are that there is apparently actually a Jaws 5 in the works. That Steven Spielberg oh. is desperately trying to not get made. I just... How could they do this to Cruel Jaws? Yeah, just name, name it Jaws 6 <laughs> and make everyone yeah. have to fight, figure out what 5 is. <laughs> uh, you can follow us on Instagram at I Hope You Suffer Podcast. Follow Kit at Kitrification of Blood. Follow Katie at Werewolf Face. And join Katie's Patreon at patreon.com slash werewolf face. You can listen to my other podcast, Nate and Kate Movie Club, where you can go listen to uh, our episode on Cruel Jaws. Or I just talk about how funny it is that the director's cut is called the Snyder Cut. <laughs> uh, Alright, I hope you Cruel Jaws, but is the best movie ever. 